gentleman, a gentleman, you are in your 30, 32 thereabout, and you are confused, you see two roads before you, you don't know whether to go right or to go left. You have been told about this, and you know the way, and you are like, which is which? He doesn't change. Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. It is one way to Jesus. There is no other way. Any other thing apart from the Jesus of the Bible is counterfeit. If it's not from the word of God, it is false. There is none but Jesus. There is nothing called similar to Jesus. There is nothing called close to Jesus, but one Jesus who walked the street of Galilee. My prayer for you this day is that His mercy will show you the path to go. That He will uphold you with His right hand of righteousness and lead you to destination. You will not detract. You will not miss it. The Bible says to us in Isaiah, He says, I am your God. I, I will be with you. He says, do not be confounded. Do not be dismayed. That he will uphold you with his right hand of righteousness. Isaiah 41 and 10. He will uphold you. That path that you have treaded up to this point. Keep walking it. Keep treading it. It's called the narrow path. It may not be all as easy. Narrow. But what's it? All those things you see. That you think. I, I think I want this, I like, they are lying vanities, they are shadows. The word of God is unfailing. The word of God has been before you and will continue to be after you. Jesus loves you. That's the message for you today. He loves you and he's stretching out his hands and say, come on to me. Just the way you are. Just one step after the other. And you'll see sunshine again. Things will brighten up again. The Bible says, In this world there shall be tribulation, but of good cheers I have overcome the world. It's worth it to continue to be steadfast, unshakable, unmovable. That's what the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 15 58. You must get to the finish line, you must breast the thing. You have started well. 
there is hope. The Bible lets us know there is hope for a tree that is cut down because it will sprout again. There is hope for you. Don't cast yourself away. Don't be distracted. Keep your focus. The Bible says looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher, the perfecter of your faith. Do for the joy that was said before him. Endure the cross. Endure the situation. Because there is something awaiting you at the end of the journey. And it will cause for rejoicing. Don't miss it. Keep holding on. Though it looks like it's delaying, the Bible says wait for it. It will come at the appointed time. The time that God has assigned. That time nothing can shake it. That time ordained of God. Christianity is sweet. The Bible lets us know. It says taste and see how sweet the Lord is. You've tasted Keep the taste in your mouth. Savour it. Don't observe lying vanity. The storm will soon come. Jesus loves you. Thank you for tuning in. Tell a friend about this. It is all about the saving hands of God through this ministry. Set see for women. Our website is displayed on the screen. Contact me. Let me hear your testimony. Jesus loves you because his message endures forever. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you.